Hello everyone, welcome to the IPFS Core Implementations Weekly Sync uh, for June 1st, 2020. I am Aiken Brain, I will be your host as we play the game of important initiatives, outstanding questions, and all that good stuff. So we're going to go uh, over our high priority initiatives, discuss updates, low priority initiatives, questions, parking lot, etc. Um, so the first thing to do is to talk about upcoming ship releases. Um, so we had a release of JS IPFS last week, 0 0.45, that delivered uh, BitSwap 1.2, and also a whole bunch of um, stability and performance improvements. Uh, when you're retrieving files on JS IPFS now, it BitSwap's about five times faster, depending on how big the file you're retrieving, which is super cool. Um, also, if you use an abort signal to cancel a request, if that request has uh, cause some CIDs to get put in the want list, they are now removed from the want list, um, which is quite So people will want to upgrade to that as soon as possible. Uh, Stephen, do you want to talk about Go IPFS uh, 1.6? Yep. <coughs> uh, we're currently working on the 0 0.6 release. Uh, we have one RC out, we need to get another one within a couple of days. Uh, it's going to upgrade, uh, or do a major quick version upgrade, but we planned on this when we cut the RC originally. Um, we also need to fix an issue where identify messages are too big because apparently GoFS has hard coded 2048 uh, byte limit on the size of an identify message and ran into this when we added sign peer records, but only with uh, with um, 4096 bit RSA keys. So there's a weird combination where like we have one node that uses 4096 bit RSA keys, and this is what, what let us actually find this problem. <laughs> and we didn't even notice when we upgraded it. Like we noticed this well after the fact. Was, yeah, we need better tests on this. Um, yeah, those are the main things for 0 0.6. Uh, 0 0.7 is is coming up next um, with some like uh, DHT improvements and E251 non-keys by default, ideally. Next up. Uh, cool, so the next thing to talk about is content retail. Oh, yeah, okay. Wait, it is? Yeah, that was, oh, that was, was the reading. update. Okay. Yeah, that was the update, same thing. Cool, we are steaming through this stuff. Uh, so the next thing is subdomain gateway, uh, base32 and origin isolation. Uh, yeah, so I think the PR with support for long CIDs is ready for a final review. Um, we had a discussion about should we prioritize uh, maximizing the length of label on the left or right side. And if someone is interested in details why one version is probably safer, there's a discussion thread I linked in the notes, uh, but I feel it's ready for a final review. And the next step for ensuring that both IPFS and IPNS default for each namespace load fine, with, uh, load fine from a public gateway with TLS for a, for a single white card certificate. Um, we need to ensure namesys in Go IPFS works correctly with peer IDs encoded as CID in base 36, which fits perfectly in the DNS label. Uh, in a single day DNS label, um, I did not have bandwidth to check that last week, probably. Hopefully I'll do that uh, sooner than later this week. And that's my update. Cool. Uh, next up is bits of updates. Yeah. yeah so uh, this week, open a PR for to improve some one tracking metrics. That's uh, ready for review. And then we also um, improve performance for a Filecoin use case, which is when you're requesting blocks from a large number of peers. Cool. Uh, Reposition, uh, stream content-based chunking research, improvements, dagger, etc. Yes. Uh, so um, the core tool itself is uh, more or less uh, ready. I was actually going to present on Sunday, but uh, 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 this talk got cancelled. Uh, 
I you have provisioned a box where uh, I can replicate Andrew's experiment from March last year. Uh, a little bit with spit and bailing wire, it finishes at about 15 minutes instead of 12 hours. Uh, but to repeat this and basically have others be able to replicate that, I need to uh, wrap up the tool that actually leads from the file system and feeds uh, the the dagger uh, chunker, which it it's like ninety percent there now. I'm 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 chasing couple uh, size problems, uh, and uh, that's uh, pretty much that. Uh, hoping to publish actual numbers based on uh, a quiet system with you know with known specs and stuff like that uh, around uh, Wednesday or Thursday this week. Ooh, uh, Rust IPFS initiative. What's going on at Rust? Yeah, uh, we are about halfway through the phase two grant, which is about Unix FS. Um, so we're just working on that for the most part. Um, there's a couple JS IPFS pull requests that are going in um, and need review or we need some attention just because uh, it's the testing, the interface core testing thing again. Replacing IPFS add with the importer function um, so that we can test things like pinning, uh, et cetera, without having to implement add, which is uh, future work for us. So um, if somebody could just kindly paste the uh, crypto pad notes again because I joined a little late so I didn't get to see it. I only I only see the ones, the chat messages since I joined. I can add those PRs in and then um, so you know if somebody could take a look at those that'd be great. Um, the other question I have is if, if there's any Filecoin people around um, maybe reach out after the call because I have some questions there as well. That's all. Thank you. Uh, I have a very quick suggestion uh, for you not having uh, not having to spend the time to implement add right now. Uh, look into implementing uh, uh, car file imports. So basically, you can create any kind of DAG and go IPFS and just wholesale import it into your REST implementation, and then you go around add for the okay, great. time being. I think that's exactly what we're doing right now, but I'll double check that. And if that's not the case, that sounds like a good suggestion. Thank you. Uh, peer store improvements in JS lines, Vashko here. No, he's out today. Um, but that should land this week in the 0.28 release. We're planning on landing that in the next day or two uh, after testing. So we should be able to close this initiative out. Very exciting. Looking forward to banishing uh, peer info to tomorrow. Um, and then this is also like the release is also going to include um, listen and announce addresses, which we previously didn't support in JSLand. So that should make things a bit nicer um, for swarm integration in JSIPFS. Cool. Uh, next up is cancel requests in JSIPFS. Um, so yeah, the only kind of update on that is that in the last release, the abort signals now work with CIDs and the um, I think this is kind of done now. Uh, I don't think there's anything else to add. The only extra thing would be to like work out if we want to use abortable iterators anywhere, but I don't think that we do. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't foresee doing much more work on this. Uh, next up is Live P2P Rendezvous. So Vashko. Yeah, Vashko stubbed out the uh, initial implementation um, building off of what uh, MKG built a while back. And so he's working off of that on the current spec. And so there's an open issue um, for me to give him some, some feedback earlier this week. And if anybody wants to provide feedback on that early on, uh, that would be a good place to go. Cool, that uh, finishes off the, uh, the main set of initiatives. Um, onto the other initiatives, uh, Unix FS v1.5 and Go IPFS. No update there. Uh, migrations, multi-hash keys in the block store. Um, 
on pause. As far as I know. Say that again, sorry. It's, it's on pause and go fast as far as I know. I don't know about JS. Um, yeah, so it's kind of, at the moment, JS is blocked on having a migration tool uh, that, that works 100%. Uh, there is a migration tool, um, but it's not, it's never actually has a process of migration. Um, so I'm going to pick up that, make sure it is ship shape. And that will then unblock uh, us making these kind of changes. So the first one will be migrating to multi hash keys, and then it will be using that to um, uh, do the pinning improvements to move all the pins into the data store. Cool. Uh, that is the uh, other initiatives. Uh, so next we have design review proposals. Um, there was a proposal from last week, I think, that got punted to this week uh, to handle configuration in shared nodes. So I believe this is when you have a node that is accessed from multiple uh, contexts, like in the browser, uh, different tabs. So uh, please add yourself to the list if you would like to be in this meeting. Are there any other design review proposals? Great. Uh, so, on to the, the rest of it. So, uh, blockers and asks. Anyone blocked? Anyone need anything? Anyone got any questions? Anything for the parking lot? What's on your mind? Uh, I have a thing in the parking lot. Uh, the base 36 uh, by default issue that I opened a while ago. Um, there seems to be mostly favorable uh, response so far, but like, do we want to ask folks on the JS side, on the Lotus slash Falcon side? Uh, do we want to just do it? Uh, what do we want to do? We kind of send. Is this base32 by default overall? Base32 by default for IPNS? Uh, so my proposal is overall. Uh, a base 36 overall, yes. For, for all CLI uh, API calls. Should we have a design review session on it? We could, though having a design session, you know, synchronously probably not going to add much, I don't know. I mean, just a time where we can talk about it. Okay. Like, I don't think we're going to talk about it here, but propose a, yeah. a slot and get interested people together. I think it would be also good to have people comment on the issue first, because like, we just had a design review proposal on base 36. And, like the resolution was like, we definitely need to use it for IPNS keys um, in specific cases, at least the question here is like only for IPNS keys or everything. Um, yeah. So read the proposal and the trade-offs. Uh, I'm going to paste the issue again. I That's all I have. Peter, your, your question boils down to like, who are the relevant stakeholders that need to be informed that this is something that there's interest in doing before we pull the trigger and say yes? More or less, yeah. Like Stephen says, we need people to comment on the issue. We probably haven't reached all the people that need to comment. Okay, do you want to uh, have some kind of time limit on reading the issue? And then we can make a decision at the end of the time limit. Uh, I don't think we have enough time to kind of like go into it now. Uh, I'm writing up a, a design review proposals need to discuss based at six and uh,
Yeah, that's the thing. We the, like uh, what Adin said. This is not the right audience for like putting a meeting together. I guess so. Yeah. Not sure what's next. That is it. I think we got yet to the end of the list. Uh, just if everyone could if, say, is there anything else? Anybody else want to discuss anything else in the parking lot? I guess just a brief informative thing. I, I saw that Vashko is implementing JS LibPP Rendezvous, which is cool because the Go one, which is, I don't know if it's actually being used by anyone. We would like to, in the near to medium term future, pick it up and use it for something almost exactly like it uh, for DHT bootstrapping. Um, so that instead of relying on the routing tables natively to do that and just connecting to a bootstrap node and assuming they're also a DHT server and have to play by all the same rules, uh, instead just saying, hey, I want to learn about nodes that are in the DHT, please give me a pile of them that are randomly distributed throughout the network and seem like they're available. Um, and so we can use the rendezvous protocol for that. So the fact that, that exists in going to be existing in JS is, is cool. Okay. I think that kind of wraps up the, uh, the core sync then. Uh, if everyone can just make sure they put their async updates in, that would be great. Um, otherwise, have a great week. Uh, we'll see you all next Monday. And stay safe. Don't touch your face. Bye. Yes, Steve.